Greetings and welcome to Pinball Help. Mike here. Work continues on this Gottlieb System 80B Raven machine. And if you've watched a previous series of videos, I've gone through a whole process of working on the MPU board and I put a memory cap on it, which I've just unstuck from the glue on there. But I was still having problems with the game. It was losing settings. So now I have installed a socket and put a non-volatile RAM in here to replace the 5101. So I put it in the game. I've, I played it last night. It was working. Um, now I'm going to cut this memory cap off because we shouldn't, we shouldn't need it now. So I'm going to uh, go up here and cut that off so that uh, the game's off. And we'll remove the memory cap. And we should, it should still hold the settings. So let's give it a try. I'll repurpose this memory cap for another game, although the non-volatile RAM things are pretty darn neat. So let's fire this thing up and let's see what's going to happen with the game. <clears throat> All right, look, it shows seven credits. So our non-volatile uh, memory is working. There's the high scores. And we're got it all nice and working. Yes. All right, so very cool. That, uh, with any luck, this will be most of the major work that I'll have done on the game. Uh, I've basically got it. It's all um, original, except I did replace the power supply board up there for the 5 volts. I may put the old one back in because I did work on that one and refurbish it as well. Um, but there's a good example of taking the board and originally putting a memory cap on it and then realizing there was something wrong with the RAM chip. So rather than just replace the 5101, I put in non-volatile RAM, which then meant we didn't need a battery or a memory cap. So you've got a different number of options depending upon how much work you want to do in addressing uh, the battery issues with the machines. You can replace the, the memory. In this case, the, the memory on here was not socketed, so I had to desolder that chip, which can be a little bit tricky. But if you're careful with it, that's an option. If that's too elaborate for you, then you can install the memory um, cap that I put in the, uh, in the other video. So that's it. For more, visit pinballhelp.com. Thanks for watching.